Hi, my name is Rebecca, and in this lesson, I'm going to explain to you about something called learning styles. This lesson is good not only for English learners, for whom I usually make lessons, but also for anyone in general who's trying to learn more effectively. Now, the thing to remember is that not everybody learns in the same way. I have a particular way of learning, you have a way of learning, so does your brother, your friend, your cousin, okay? So what's important when you're trying to learn is to discover what is your learning style. And that's what this lesson will show you. All right, let's go to the board. There are three main learning styles. About 60% of the population are visual learners. About 30% of the population are auditory learners. And about 10% are kinesthetic learners. Okay? And as I read through the characteristics, you'll probably be able to identify who you are and what kind of way you learn best because you will recognize what you enjoy doing. And what you enjoy doing tells you what kind of learner you are and what kind of a learning style you have. Okay? So the visual learner, of course, enjoys learning by seeing, the auditory by hearing, and the kinesthetic by actually doing something. I'll explain what that means. Uh, so visual learner will enjoy reading information from books and uh, the internet and so on. Auditory will enjoy talking and hearing uh, lectures. And the kinesthetic person will enjoy participating in experiences. All right. A uh, visual learner will also enjoy diagrams, pictures, maps. Uh, you enjoy writing things down on pen and paper in order to really understand them and remember them, okay, or into the computer, but you need to see it written down somewhere. You don't feel like you've actually understood until you've written it down. That's how I um, actually learn. And also you enjoy reading the news, all right? An auditory person, as I said, uh, enjoys lectures, music. They enjoy hearing instructions, receiving verbal instructions. This person will need to read instructions before doing something or going somewhere. And this person will prefer to be told the instructions, okay? They also uh, enjoy participating in discussions, debates. They usually memorize well. And they also have been told, maybe you've been told you have an ear for languages. If you have an ear for languages, that means you are probably an auditory learner. And you probably enjoy listening to the news versus reading the news. All right. Um, the kinesthetic learner is in the minority and usually has a harder time at school, college, university, because in those educational establishments, you have to sit down, right? When you're learning, supposedly. They don't give you a lot of space to move around. So that person is a little bit more challenged. They may have had a hard time going through school uh, because of that. And so uh, let's look at what that person actually enjoys doing or how they enjoy learning. You enjoy participating in uh, experiences, going on field trips, building a model of something in order to understand the concept, not just reading about it, um, and also moving, okay? Doing things with the information. So next, I'll give you various strategies you can use if you are a visual learner or an auditory learner or a kinesthetic learner. So here are some ideas about how to learn effectively based on your learning style, okay? So if you're visual, make sure you write down the information. You wanna make sure you copy things from the board. Um, because you're visual, you need the eye contact with the teacher, the professor. So try your best to sit in the front so that you have less visual distractions. Make sure you take notes while the lecture is going on. Uh, use highlighters while you're taking notes or later while you're studying. Uh, you could make flashcards with the vocabulary if you're learning English, for example, or whatever other subject you're learning. You could also watch videos because that's a really good way for you to learn. So what you're doing right now is a very good thing to do, especially if you're a visual learner. Now, um, people who have a strong visual learning style usually do quite well on written tests such as essays. And you usually have a harder time when it comes to listening comprehension exercises. So what does that mean? Well, when you're preparing for an exam, for example, if you're studying English and you're going to do the TOEFL or the IELTS, you want to make sure you 
really practice the listening comprehension part if you're a visual learner, because you're going to have more challenges in that section, okay? If you're auditory, you wanna make sure that you record the information for yourself. For example, you might want to read it aloud from your textbook. I am, you are, he is, she is, if you're learning grammar. It will help you to hear it, okay? So you could record it from a textbook and this way you'll remember it more easily. Also speak to others about it. Conversational classes are very good for you if you're learning English um, and you're an auditory learner. Repeat the information, it helps you learn a lot and repeat it with your eyes closed because auditory learners don't like to have visual distractions. They wanna be able to focus on the auditory part. So repeat things with your eyes closed, it will help you to remember. And avoid auditory distractions. So as much as possible, if you have this learning style, try to study in a quiet place. Try to study in a place where you don't have a lot of noise and other things going on around you. And that will help you learn more effectively. Again, someone with an auditory style will, will do very well or better at oral exams and will have a harder time with reading comprehension type exercises. So if you have this style, make sure you really study um, and practice a lot of the reading comprehension because you'll have more challenges there. The kinesthetic learner uh, usually enjoys uh, multiple choice type questions and doesn't enjoy the long written tests as much. So what can you do if you're a kinesthetic learner? Well, you could try to make a game out of whatever it is you're trying to learn, even if it's English, whether it's the tenses, whether it's vocabulary, try to create some kind of game so that there's activity involved. Uh, you could actually visit a location. In your play, uh, case, uh, visiting a, uh, an English-speaking uh, country would be great. Uh, take frequent breaks because you don't like to sit in one place for very long. You become ineffective. So make sure you take, a, take frequent breaks, get up, walk around, come back. Uh, be comfortable when you're, uh, when you're studying. It doesn't mean that you have to sit in a chair and at the table. You might learn more effectively especially if you're a kinesthetic learner, you might learn very well lying on your bed or lying on the floor, okay? Um, find the, the position that's comfortable for you and don't presume that it is always at a table and um, with a table and chair. And also do a lot of activities, again, part of making it a game, making it something that's active, all right? So, I think from what we have discussed so far, you can probably recognize whether you are more of a visual learner or auditory or kinesthetic. But if you'd like more information on this subject of learning styles, you can go to my website, www.studyingstyle.com and read more about this. You can also go to our English learning uh, website, ingvid.com, if you'd like to do a quiz on this subject. Thanks very much for watching. I do believe that this information can completely transform the way that you learn anything. And having taught for many years, I've seen students implementing this and it makes a tremendous difference, not only in the result, but also in your confidence in yourself about achieving a successful result. Okay, so all the best with your learning and with your English. Bye for now.